it feels like full abundance. <laughs> we have it here on the land and in um, huge quantities, so it just makes sense. Like all these factors and many, many more just make sense to build our structures from bamboo. <laughs> and it's beautiful. It's really beautiful. <laughs> slippery things are progressing nicely really really nice besides the beautiful little hut that is almost finished our first little gathering spot um, the team did the borders all the way and uh, on the upper part of the land so that we are 100% sure where the border is they planted the, the purple flowers these ones on Bali the the borders are already uh, are always um, with the purple flowers, it's really nice. I love that. So you don't need to put a, like a f fence that is not nice for the eye. You have the little purple flower all the way on the border. So this was already finished, and then we were just talking with Adi about the about the first platforms. Tomorrow the team is coming to first clean the site where we will put the first platforms. Um, we're starting with platform number three and next week already the the assembled platform it will not be assembled here on site but in Balaga that is like one hour 30 from here where the big bamboo workshop is they will assemble it there put it on a truck bring it here and then um, uh, do the final final uh, final assembly here and then already next week we can put the first tent on top of it mm. holy smokes things are progressing nicely really nice and also the material will come today yeah but not sure in afternoon or late afternoon okay the material for the foundation and, yeah for the platform mm. we were thinking about in march so we have december january and february yeah. for building mm -hmm. and then in march uh, getting another uh, bringing another group here but for that we would need like the whole the whole facility is ready with the shala and the kitchen and so on so if we th if you think we can do that in three months that would be nice but yeah of course you need yeah, to check first yeah i need to check first and, yeah. and i need to find more group yeah for work got yeah. it yeah <laughs> For the building offering, it's like a three day or four day before that we just build the temple. So the temple cannot for a long time just ah. build without the offering. Yeah. Okay, got it. Got, mm. got, got it. it huh? Got it. So we build and the temple and directly after we do the offering. the offering. Okay, yeah. nice. You put your tent. So everything you wanna use it that one. Maybe yeah. in the one week or two week, uh, one week or ten days you wanna use it that we give the offering. So you cannot use that. Ah, okay. We need to do because the, what we were thinking about when we finish the first platform. Yeah already put the first tent there yeah. so that we can try if everything is good oh, and we see oh, if, if, if we did any mistakes yeah. we can adjust for the other platforms yeah. so you can also use it like already that. like next week first we put the first tent so we already do the first offering if you want to now. put if you want to put the first tent because i don't want you make an offering offering all our offering i just okay. want to collect in one time okay. you want to put like six ten or everything yeah you for the first one you can uh, use that one just to try it right okay. that is okay but yeah. When all is finished, then we, we do get the, the offering. offering. Got it. Okay. This here is the area Mia was talking about, where they didn't put the purple flower, where they didn't put the border, so that the spirits can move freely from up there, all the way here in the little canal, to the other side. So this is a little sign that is saying, "You are welcome here, good spirit." <laughs> and over there, on the on the highest part of the land, we will build a temple to be in alignment with uh, how the locals are building. I love that. We're gonna have our own little temple here on the land. This will be done soon as well. <laughs> Things are progressing. Wow, the first house is already there. <laughs> like, even though it has no roof yet, but 
yeah. that will come later. Yeah. yeah Hopefully. And, <laughs> and I think yeah, you. This is my 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 hope from you. Normally we are a bit like a late late because you know Bali ceremony yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Sometimes make me confused also. Yeah. I make agreement with you yeah. this day and then yeah. I'm late. Yeah. One day like that. That's sorry for the that. The electricity in the roof is nicer, mm. huh? I think so too, yeah. yeah. I would put it like... What do you think of... You, you thought about putting it here, right? Yeah. Yeah, uh, I, I think that's pretty. I prepare to make the 50 centimeter. Mm -hmm. Start here to here and then uh, 90 yeah. centimeter. Yeah. So our first building, our first little hut, is almost finished. The roof will come later in the in the afternoon. Super exciting, and of course, it's made entirely out of bamboo, because <laughs> we have an incredible abundance of bamboo here on the land. And bamboo is like the m the most incredible building material there is in the world. Like bamboo is incredibly strong. It has the same strength as steel and at the same time it's super flexible so that means when there's an earthquake or when, like something is going on it can it can uh, it can bend and at the same time it has this incredible strength bamboo is growing super 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 fast there are certain species of bamboo that grow almost one meter a day <laughs> like like mind-boggling and um, of course bamboo helps to sequester carbon from the atmosphere um, when you cut it, when you harvest it, you don't need to, you don't need to remove the whole plant. You can just cut it, and from the same stem, another bamboo is growing, and it feels like full abundance. <laughs> we have it here on the land, and in um, huge quantities, so it just makes sense. Like all these factors and many, many more, just make sense to build our structures from bamboo, <laughs> and it's beautiful. It's really beautiful. <laughs> One more advantage of bamboo, it's super lightweight, like this huge pillar, five meters long, I can just lift it with one finger. So we don't need any heavy machinery, we don't need any cranes, any like crazy equipment, which is not possible in this <laughs> location either because the road is quite narrow, not big trucks can come here. Um, so you can just carry the bamboo, we have it here, we can just carry it. And yeah, we use it for, for everything, for building houses, for making the pathway, for making the stairs, um, for supporting the, the border structures with the purple flowers. Like it's just, we can make um, furniture out of it. We can make straws for drinking our coconuts. We can just use it for, for everything. There are even like uh, brands who are developing clothing out of bamboo. It's an incredible plant. We just dropped Leo. Now we are at the mall to return grandma's shoes that are too big. <laughs> it's a really fucking big mall. What a contrast to <laughs> where we started this day. My, my grandma bought these shoes and they are a little bit too big. So could we change them to a smaller size? Good one. And Amu got a new pants as well. Nice. <laughs> he will stay the next four days in the south of Bali with Adina, with his mommy. We're going back home. And then on Friday, she's gonna visit us and stay for a night. Yeah, slowly. Slowly making steps towards aligning the whole family. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful process. Mm -hmm. 